Hello everybody, I really hope that your revision is going really well at the moment. Now in this video I'm going to talk about the main thing that you can do to get the highest grade possible. So maybe this is wanting to guarantee the A star grade if you're working at the very top end, or maybe you're just struggling at the moment to get from a C to a B. Wherever you might be, there's one way to get really good at getting a better grade. There's no secret to it, you've just got to do as many past papers as possible. Because at the end of the day, you might be really good in, in class, you might answer all the questions, you might talk to the teachers, you might be really good at practical work, but the people marking your exams, which is what gives you the grade, they don't know any of that. All they can look at is what you've written down in those two or three hours at the end of year 13, or perhaps in year 12, um, when it comes to your AS levels. So, how can you get really good at answering lots of questions? You need to do lots of questions. Now, there's something about if you do anything for 20,000 hours, you'll master it. Well, we don't have 20,000 hours, but you can definitely make significant improvements by doing as many past papers as possible. Now, the difficulty with this is that if you're doing one particular exam board, let's go through with AQA as an example. If you're doing AQA, there's only a few past papers available. Now, some of those past papers you will have done at school as mock exams, and therefore there's no point doing them again and again because you've already done them. And there's also some older specification past papers from the previous course. Now, these older courses, they were assessed in a slightly different way. And the exams had a slightly different structure, they were a different time, but a lot of that doesn't really matter. Most of the time um, that you're doing physics, the physics has not changed. You need to know about Suvat equations, you need to know about internal resistance, okay? The main physics facts have not changed, and that's where the bulk of your marks are going to come from. So what I want to show you is some of the past papers that are available, some of the resources where you can actually find more past papers. And uh, we're going to look at, first of all, my website, go through the main exam boards and also have a look at a few other sources of past papers. So let's have a look. Now, a bit of a shameless plug, but this is A-Level Physics Online. I've tried to organise everything into the right place. You can see that you can just simply choose your exam board at the top. The other thing that I've put on here, um, in addition to some of these revision videos I'm putting on at the moment, I've got my link to Instagram. So if you haven't already done so, you can follow me on Instagram, uh, just see what's happening, see the kind of latest updates, which you don't always get in video format. So there's lots of good stuff here for you to have a look at. Now, by far and away, the most popular exam board at the moment is AQA when you're in England. Okay, now I've got for every single exam board on my website, I've got links to the actual website at the top, the full and latest specification, the data book, and any other kind of documents that the exam board have produced. Obviously, I've also got underneath this all of the different um, all of the different uh, options. So if you want to look at, at capacitors in a bit more detail, you can just click on the link and then there's videos all about capacitors and a description. So that's all there. Now, AQA first of all, if you want to find past papers, if you go to subjects and you go to physics or science, uh, hopefully, uh, oh, this is going back to GCSE, let's go back again. Um, if you want to go to past papers, uh, your subject, we're gonna choose physics, uh, qualification is AS and A-level, and the specification, they only give you one specification, which is the current one. Now, they've got lots and lots of past papers from June 2017. You should definitely be doing all of these. June 2016. And then there's loads of specimen papers. Now, I would say that the danger of doing specimen papers is that the questions aren't as good as real past papers. In a real past paper, you've got an examiner, uh, who set the questions, working with a whole team of people. They check it, they check it again. And then when it comes to the mark scheme, they're constantly evolving the mark scheme as they're actually marking the exams. If they find there's one answer that loads and loads of people are putting, that answer will then be going into like the later drafts of the mark scheme. So your best bet is to do real past papers because the questions are really good. Specification past papers are good but they've just been written by maybe a couple of people sat in an office thinking, well, this is a new specification, what can we ask about it? So they haven't gone through the same level of scrutiny. And that's why sometimes the questions are a little bit weird and sometimes the mark schemes aren't always 100% accurate, but it's still worth doing. So that's what you have for AQA, um, but they don't have the older papers from the old specification. AQA don't publish that on their website, but they have something called EAQA that your teachers can log, can log into. So I'd have thought if you're doing AQA, your teachers will have access to the older past papers. They can download them and somehow share that with you. There's a few other ways to get them as well. Now, a lot of other people uh, are doing um, o sorry, 
Pearson Education. So this is Edexcel. Now, if you're doing OQR, OQR, if you're doing AQA or OCR, you should still have a look at the Edexcel past papers because most of the questions are going to be very, very similar. Now, this is the thing where you're grown ups, you're almost grown up, you've got the course specification and you know what you need to be assessed about, or you know what you're going to be assessed on. If there's a question from another exam board that you don't understand, it's not that your physics is bad, it's just there's some knowledge there that you haven't been taught as part of your course. However, most of it is going to be the same. So 90% of the content is going to be the same. And there's also here another example of the kind of practical work or different practicals you can carry out and the experimental method, which is a bit that people really struggle finding questions about. So you go to Pearson, uh, they've got a thing on the main page about past papers. Um, so this is actually really quite good. So let's go to A-level. Um, we're going to go to current qualifications and P for physics. Uh, we can then find you've got the 2015 physics, which is the current specification, and these are the past papers. So the advantage that Edexcel have is that when you look at your question paper, let's go for A-level physics paper one from June 2018. Um, it's got it all there. I think it's got the... Uh, all the kind of data book and everything. Um, but there's also the mark scheme and the examiner report. Now these examiner reports are really worth having a look at. So yeah, it might be a bit of a dull document written for teachers, but it's also actually got often example um, questions and how many marks were given and what the examiner said. So this one here, uh, it's incorrect. Um, there's not even the, the formula um, because that's just not applicable, I don't think, whatever. There's, there's a good reason if you look into it. So the examiner's report say about what is a good answer or what isn't a good answer. That's worth looking into at some point. So that is for Edexcel. Um, there's also OCR. Now, OCR have two different courses. They've got OCR A and OCR B. And again, if, it's, if you're doing OCR A, you, it's probably worth having a look at the OCR B papers as well. So let's go for physics again on this page qualification, AS and A level, and then you've got the current qualifications and the withdrawn ones as well. So these are the previous ones. So it might be that uh, this is a little bit slow at the moment, but if you're doing the current AQ OCR course, it's really good to look at the previous past papers because they're written in a very, very similar style. And there's a load of stuff here that they've got. So look, 2017 back to 2009. Must be like 50 different exams there. If you did every one of those, just practice it and sit down and just work solidly for the next few months, you're going to absolutely smash your exams. That's, there's no doubt about it. The more past papers you do, the more physics you'll understand because it's making you learn the physics as you're doing the paper. It's really making you recall that knowledge which you maybe learned a while ago. It's not going to do you any harm. So these are, a, you know, a gold mine of, of kind of past papers for you to have a look at. Now, if you do all of those, you think, what else can I do? WJC. This is the Welsh board, so if you are a student in Wales, you've got to do this, you don't have a choice. Um, and again, there's loads of past papers. So let's search for the qualification. Uh, let's go for um, physics. And then the level will be uh, GCE, which is General Certificate of Education. Um, and again, you can see here that they've got past papers um, from 2012 onwards. Look at all of that. Beautiful. Now, EDUCAS, a few people are doing this, about 800 people a year, and it tends to be maybe a few independent schools. Um, but this is like the Welsh exam board, but they're papers for people in England. Teachers really like these. And again, if you look on this, uh, you'll be able to find that um, you can find somewhere. Qualifications. Uh, let's go for physics. Physics AS and A level. Um, you'll find here that there's uh, specifications and sample assessment material and at some point on this website you'll also be able to find their previous uh, papers. Although, actually you won't, the old specification EDUCAS was just called WJEC. So anything which is the old EDUCAS paper is just called WJEC which is what we found on that last page. There's also Cambridge uh, CIE exams. I know a lot of you watching this video. Hello to everybody around the world. By the way, uh, just put a comment beneath the video about where you're watching this from. I know a lot of people are doing these exams at the moment. Uh, CIE exams, really popular. 
Um, so let's go to uh, Cambridge Advanced, which is A-level. There's also the Pre-U, which a lot of people are doing. There's more questions there. Um, but this one here, if we go to Subjects, let's go to Physics. And there's loads of past papers here. So again, you've got the, from June 2017 onwards, and then you go backwards to 2016. Um, so that's the kind of current spec that's happening. So where can you find all of these papers? Well, you can find a lot of them uh, on my website. So if you go to the um, AQA page, for example, you can go down to the bottom, past the, some of the quick topic revision videos, you can look at the past papers here. And what I've got here are uh, the links to some of the latest ones, which I do need to update, so I will be doing that very soon. To find the older ones, the best place to find, especially AQA things, is Physics and Maths Tutor. Brilliant website. Um, I guess the adverts are kind of geared towards me, so there's like Lego and I guess there'll be some mountain bikes very soon. I haven't been looking at anything too dodgy. Um, but these are uh, some of the, the older papers. So if you want to look at AQA, for example, you want to look at paper two, you can't find this on the AQA website, um, but they do have stuff on physics and math tutor. There you go, some mountain bikes coming up. Right, um, hope that all makes sense. In the meantime, uh, well, you know, obviously there's things you can do to help you. You've got, uh, hopefully I've got your notes sorted by now so you know what you need to know about. On my website, you've got uh, checklists. You can download to check that you're learning the right material. And then you've just got to print out some papers. And I really would recommend printing these out so you can work on paper. Print them at half size, uh, double-sided, uh, two pages per sheet. If you can, get your teachers to do this if you don't, so you don't have to pay for it or get your parents to try and do it at work and just run it off on the photocopier so you don't have to pay for the printing. Recycle a paper afterwards and um, you just need to sit there and do pass paper after pass paper after pass paper until you can't get the questions wrong. Now, if you follow that advice, you're gonna hopefully get the best grade you possibly can this year in A-level physics. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't really done so. Share the video and put any comments below. And again, all the links to all these websites will be in the description beneath this video. Thanks for watching.